good morning everyone so me and Pi have had such a serious lay and she's literally just got out of bed and obviously I'm still in bed it's like 20 to 9 already although I did wake up like really early I say early like quarter to 7 when Graham left for work and the dogs were barking like crazy oh and Alistair was up he's up anyway but then I must have just drifted back off because I was still super tired. Um, yeah, I hope today is going to be a better day. The weather looks so much better. Well, actually, the weather still looks just as good as yesterday. But it's tapering off. Like, for the rest of the week, it's getting a bit more cloudier. So, um, yeah, I, I'm actually going to take the kids out today. Uh, we're just going to use our national trust passes. Um, and go to... What's it called? Mottis Font, I think it's called. Mottis, Mottis Font. I think that's what it's called. I haven't been there before. But they've got a um, Beatrix Potter week. So they've got some children's stuff to do up there at the moment. And obviously it's basically a free day out because we're using our National Trust Passes. Um, yeah. So I'm going to get myself up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I make some coffee. <laughs> you watching Mr Bean? Yeah. On holiday? Oh no, it's not the holiday one. Oh, I love Mr. Bean. Yeah. I went to the. Um. Rouse. <laughs> I stayed in my bed for a long time. I know, we've just got up, haven't we? We had a really long sleep. I haven't. I know. <laughs> Did you have the cross on? Yes. I just want to say I'm really sorry about yesterday's vlog or the previous video that you see. Um, I will link it. Um, I was editing, I was editing it last night and I was like, oh god, I look like such a crazy, emotional woman, crying like crazy. Um, but then I couldn't really chop it out because then you'd be like, why didn't you go to Kidsania and blah blah blah. And obviously I want to keep my videos pretty real and just, you know, how they are. But it's very cringy, isn't it? And watching it back, I was like, oh no, okay. Um, and it kind of probably looked like it, it wasn't all that bad, but I suppose I've just been dealing with behaviour issues for a long time. It is a long time. It's not just over summer necessarily. I think it's just getting to me over summer because I've got the kids constantly, so I'm dealing with it constantly. But usually it's after school. You get the, the problem. Um, obviously a lot of it is tiredness after school, but then it's weekends as well, so... But anyway, yeah, I just wanted to say, I'm sorry about that, it's a bit cringe worthy. <laughs> um, I'm going to crack on with breakfast anyway. I got some croissants from Lidl yesterday, so really simple. And I got these really nice apples. Look how cute these apples are. British apples, and they're just like, like donut shape. I think they were £1.49 bag for like, how many are going here? don't know, There's loads of them. But yeah, I'm going to cut up some apples and just have croissants and apples <laughs> and coffee. There's breakfast, simples, not that nutritious this one. Violet chose these choco shell things at Lidl's, but hey ho, she's got some fruit as well. There's my simple breakfast. How are we doing children? I'm still watching Mr Bean. I wonder if there's any Mr Bean on telly. Yeah. Just going to put out some washing. I did a load last night, so I'm going to uh, put that out. I always lose my um, pegs. I don't know why. One minute it's full and the next minute it's empty. Put these doggies out for a walk as well. I'm going to go out. I am ready. It is four minutes to ten. Really good time. Oh, it looks like Graham's back for breakfast. I need to get these kids moving because honestly they haven't moved in the past hour. I'm not even joking. Oh, is that your movement? Yeah. yeah. They're watching this. Watch the end of this film, then you two get dressed, yeah? And then we can get picnic ready. Back for breakfast, number two. You ready? Yeah. yeah. Just about to sort out picnic, and then we're going to probably head on. And yeah, it should be a good day. Need to just decide what I'm going to take. Even though I'm going food shopping, I didn't find a bread. I always forget bread. Um, so. I have to bring some snacky bits, like snacky breadsticks and stuff. I got like a big bag of breadsticks from 
Violet chose those actually, she found those. The downside to going out on your own without your husband is that they can't carry the bag. I've got to carry it, so I think I'll probably leave it in the car until we actually have lunch. What are you doing? Have you done your teeth, Violet? Yeah. What are you doing? Cold hands. What's fluffy? Daddy's hair? Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so silly. Finally got out of the house. It's 10.34. I need to quickly put the um, place in the sat nav. I will link it below where we're going. Mottis font and Rumsey. Uh, it looks really nice anyway. So um, yeah, heading out. I'm not sure how long it's going to take us, but hopefully it should be pretty easy going. Did you find your hat? Maybe it's in the boot then. My hat's here. Okay. All right, we've yeah. arrived. It felt like, um, it didn't actually take that long, probably about 35 minutes. Um, but it felt like Satnav basically took me on a tour of the back streets of Romsey because we went through a lot of other things and then we hit a main road. And I just thought, well, why didn't we go on the main road the whole time? It probably would have been quicker. Minty! So hit the main road on the way back. Um, but Polo. yeah, we are here and it looks pretty busy. I'm like Polo. most places like this. All right, we're gonna get out. There's quite a lot here. We're going to the climbing trail, which looks really, really good actually, like a huge wooden climbing area. So that's what we're doing first, because obviously, Although it's nearer lunchtime, we had late breakfast, so... Oh, it's very, it's also in the bottom. Yeah. They're like, it's like Christmas tree, isn't it? It's like Christmas berries. <gasps> Christmas! Oh, talking about Christmas, our turkeys are ready. We're going to be getting some baby turkeys in for Christmas. Can't believe it's that time of year again. It just flies by. It's mental. This is the Beatrix Potter thing. Look, these characters were created by Beatrix Potter, a writer who lived in a house with a door just like this one. Oh. She is with her dog. Boom. That's super cute. Isn't it, it just looks like Mary. Mary. Who's Mary? Wendy. Wendy and the dog. From Peter Pan. Yeah. Yeah. I see the climbing frame. <gasps> Over the bridge. <gasps> Who is that? This is poor Tom Kitten now. Some rats like this once are trying to make him into a roly poly pudding. <gasps> oh, that's cute. Clicking. Look at that. 
cute little bridge. I stored you to, um, I stored um, a crane fly stuck in a web I did. Did and you? I saved it. Aww. A pretty house. Kids don't want to look in it though, but we'll see. After lunch, they might have more energy. Should we go get our lunch? Can we spread sticks? Basically what I could find. Pretzels, carrots. We've got lots of fruit as well. Look at Riley's homegrown carrots. Have a look. Yours has got three legs. I love the I love the cucumbers more. <laughs> yeah. Alice is the cucumber eater, aren't you? On to the melon. We do pack a lot, but we are getting through it. It's probably like half a watermelon now. Wait, I, I, oh, I look for me. <laughs> okay, what I did bring, children. Yeah. Guess what I brought? Bubbles. Ah, uh, orange. Alistair. Yeah, I'm behind you. Pops, first lid. And duck. Oh, duck. What does this say? Who enters this little door? Who do you think's inside? It's Jemima Puddle Duck. I had lunch, I put the stuff back in the car, but it got so hot in the sunshine, we just had to like go somewhere to chill, but luckily there's like forest bits everywhere. And um, yeah, it was super adorable. Oh look, there's another door, finally! Oh, you can't open this one! Oh really? Hi. Little kitten! I love the sound, I love the sound! It's so cold water! Okay. Wanna jump in? Jeff Cake's there! Yeah, Jeff Cake's there! Mint chocolate chip! Yeah. Yeah. What did you get, Alistair? Mint. It's very big. Mm. Um, and it's looping up. Huh? Doorway. With a little teddy cone. And we're sat in Look. front of a horse's bottom. Look. Who we found? Peter Wabbit. Peter Wabbit. Into the rose garden. Wow. So we are heading home. It's like half past three. Um, yeah, we spent just over four hours at Montespont. Montespont. I don't know why I can't get the, the flow of that, but yeah, basically, um, I had such a good day. Like, I would highly recommend that National Trust place. So much for kids. Lots to see. Um, we got around it all, but you know, you just you feel like you could have spent. An, I could have spent another hour or so there. I only did it because obviously I knew we had to travel back which takes about half an hour and to be honest we're getting pretty tired and it was really really hot still uh, the kids are absolutely knackered so um, yeah it's well worth visiting had such a fun day lots for kids to um, play on and just enjoy um, the ice creams are really good as well and they had quite a few cafes and I find that a lot of the National Trust places only have usually just one and they have like three cafes so lots and lots of um, you know things you know places to eat and stuff like that someone's overtaking me through the forest speeding um the only annoying thing is, is that i forgot my dad was coming today and he has rang me and said where are you i'm like i'm in romsey so i don't know if he's going to be there when i get back but i just completely forgot i think it's because we've had quite a few home days and i just felt like we need to get out of the house today no matter what i just need to get out of the house and obviously it's good weather as well so we might as well make the most of it it's our last week of school holidays really so back to school run next week which honestly i'm really not looking forward to that's one thing i don't enjoy is the school run itself um yeah so we're heading home the kids are having a little power nap they are pretty tired bless them 
Hi everyone, so I wanted to just check in and say thanks for watching. I'm sorry I've ended it quite abrupt, but my dad actually came over. He's only left probably like 20 minutes ago. It's 8.35 already. The kids have only just gone to bed because my dad was here. We had dinner and I just had a shower and yeah, watching some trashy kitchen, not kitchen, garden nightmares on ITV. And I'm going to edit down this vlog. I really hope you've enjoyed it and... Um, yeah, hopefully I will see you all soon.